Hey, good. what's up, Herb? Hi, how you doing? I'm here with Herb Dean today. Hi. <laughs> Herb is a well-known referee. He's been in the sport for how long? Since the beginning. Um, yeah, I've been refereeing for about since around 98, 99. Um, and I've been, uh, you know, working out since the beginning. Are you still training? Yes, I do. Not often as I'd like, uh, sporadically, but I still train. So how has your life changed since the explosion of mixed martial arts in the last year or two? Um, people say, you, hey, aren't you that guy with the dreadlocks who uh, does the fights? A lot more than they used to. <laughs> Don't they call you Herb Dean, saver of elbows or arms? Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's him. Herb Dean, the savior of elbows, the elbow saver. But that only lasts till the next fight and then yeah. they hit you. Then, yeah, then, then I become a, a target for beer bottles. Uh, Herb Dean. Uh, I, I've got all kinds of uh, names that people call me, uh, especially if I go on the internet. But uh, I don't. I don't go on the internet that much because um, it's not worth the therapy bills that I have to. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's constant. Yeah, constant. They love you. you know? They hate you. Love me. They hate me. They love me. They hate me. And it, and it busts me up, and I have to go. You know. So, so Herb, as a referee, you sort of don't get to hang out with the fighters. I kind of recently heard this a little bit the other day. Um, no, we don't really hang out with the fighters that much. Because there's a, sort of a conflict? A little bit. I mean, well, the thing about it is, this is a new sport. So if you're going to have officials in it who know anything about the sport, they're going to have to have some interaction with the fighters. They're going to have to have, you know, there's, you have to train to be able to officiate the sport because you do. I mean, how are you going to make a judgment on what you're seeing if you don't know what you're seeing? But somehow they're going to try to start to get a little bit of separation, uh, then we can't get total separation, but we're trying to come up with different little things so that, that things look right. And so how is it now, like, that you're refereeing more? Uh, Are you still fighting? Um, I don't fight very much. Uh, I referee a lot, and I try to get around to fighting sometimes, but most of the time I travel so much for refereeing, I can't get a time to train solidly. But I had a fight, um, I had a fight uh, at the end of last year. I had a fight in October, and that was a good time. And... Um, I uh, I plan to fight a couple times this year. And are you going to get mad at the referee if he makes a bad call? No, I'm just going to take it. You know, I want to, but I'm just going to take it. Because yeah. the referee might be someone that was a fighter once before that you ref their fight. Ooh, that could be it. And you know what? Let me tell you something. And they may or may not like you because of that. That is very true. But you know something? The fighters in this sport are such, I mean, they're such gentlemen. And, you know, whether I make a bad call or not, they're always really respectful. And sometimes they make, I make calls that guys don't agree with. And they're just like, well, you know, I don't agree. But and they're always respectful. So I, I at least have to follow that example that they've set for me. So you're not going to take it out on the referee? No. You make no, a bad call? No matter how much I want to. No matter how much You'll I just wait till the next time you referee their fight. What I'll do is I'll, you know what I'll do is I'll tell them how to do it while we're fighting. No, 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 no. We've been on the ground way too long. No, 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 no. When you stop the fight, you need to support the joint. What are you doing? Where'd you learn? Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. What referee school did you go to? Right, exactly. exactly. And by the way, what preschool did you go to while we were on it? You know, yeah. So um, there are a lot of different organizations now, and how do you divide your time? How do you know who do you referee for? Is it up to the commissions, or how's your schedule planned out? It's all different. Sometimes it's commission, sometimes it's, it's always something different. But uh, a lot of times it's the commissions. And what if you get called to referee two different shows on then the same night? I have to do what referees do. Make a decision. Toss a coin? Make a decision. <laughs> Make a decision. <laughs> that was good, though. <laughs> yeah. um, so are there some organizations that treat you better than others, or is it all pretty much the same? How does that work? No, there are some organizations that treat us a lot better than others. In, in what ways would those be? You don't have to say names, but in terms of perks or whatever, how do they treat the treatment? You just have to come Financial? And you have to come and find out. So you get paid by the commission? Yes, get paid by the commission. So are you a millionaire now that you're refereeing all the time? No, it's kind of embarrassing. I'm like... Um, like an MTV VJ from way back in the day. Like everybody knows who I am, but like, like I'm Adam broke. Curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nina yeah. Blackwood. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Everybody knows who you are, and they all know you're broke too. They're like, "Hey, there's the guy who's on TV who's broke. We know about you." Yeah, that's me. And do you have a day job? Mm, not this year. So that's good. That's, that's a good. A good thing. No, it's getting better. Last year I had a day job. The year before that I had a day job, but. And they always change so I can make a little more time to do this. But this year, 
So much refereeing, no day job. I do things like this. And then you're off during the week. I do things like this to fit expo, stuff like that. Train, yeah. Try to promote the sport? Yeah, 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 stuff like that. So are there any other referees you don't like? Like, in, Do you have a referee room back there? A referee room? Yeah, like where do they put all the referees? Okay, yeah, yeah, well, see, the commission has an office. There's a commission office, and uh, I guess we could be there. I guess that would, if anything, if there's a referee room, that, that would probably be there. Because they have the blue team and the red team, you know, they, they have different right, sides right, backstage. Right. Uh, and then there's the commission office. And that's the referee room. That's more the or less, referee room. If there was one. Uh huh. Is there any referee you don't like? No. You must be a really angry person. You're always <laughs> talking about not liking someone. I like everybody. I'm just trying to pull the dirt yeah, out. Yeah, really? I'm even, just doing a job here. No, I'm really, just doing I'm a job. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Really, even to say somebody cusses me out or does that, it's very hard for me to dislike people. But that's like personality, yeah. Yeah, I like people. I'm like, hey, because especially in this sport, you know, you're going to have to, uh, this is a hard sport to do. And whatever your personality, whatever you have to do with your mind, whatever you have to do to get up for the game, if you got to cuss people out or get upset with people and listen to a bunch of heavy metal music or something, whatever you got to do, as long as you get in there and do it, because probably 99.9% .9 can't. So I'm not mad at you. Um, are you nervous when you have to referee? No. Are you nervous before you fight? Uh, not often. A couple of times I have been, but most of the time I'm not. But refereeing, you're not nervous at all? No. How do you like the black gloves in the UFC? You know, I took a look, and I, I like the black gloves. They didn't come from the UFC. The f guy who first started with the black gloves was Josh Rosenthal from the WEC, and then we all bit his style. So did you tell the commission, like, this is what we want now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we said, you, made you a know. Request. We made a request. No, actually, we just bring them. You just bring it? We just bring it. <laughs> uh-huh. We just bring so it. So do you have a little saying when you, when you start a fight? Like, that, like this one? Like that one? What does that say right there? It hurts my feelings that you don't know my saying. I thought... I, I thought you could share it with everyone. Okay. I don't know what I say either. I think I say, let's do it. <laughs> That's it. Let's do it. Or, come on, let's do this. Something like that. I need to write it down so it stays consistent. You don't remember. I was hoping you would know. <laughs> so you just why are you going to just... expose me like that? You can rap, though. No, I can't rap. I, that, I retired from that. Well, that means you could do it one time. So do you get along with John McCarthy? Oh, yeah. John McCarthy's great. So I haven't come out to his gym and called him out? I would never. I don't go to I want a referee call. showdown. Yeah, me and I Big John. Well, Big John's got game. I'm going to come out there and roll with him. He's got game. Big John's got game, people yeah. People don't know it. I know. People don't There's know. There's a lot of internet yeah. jibber-jabber yeah, about yeah. him. Really? Yeah. What are they saying? Well, they do it to all the referees, right? Like, what do they know? They don't know that you guys all train. Oh, that's true. That's true. No, Big John has game. He's, yeah. And he's big. Yeah, he's big. But not as big anymore. And he's got good shoes, but he's still big. Yeah, he's still big. Even though he's smaller John, it's still Big John. Still Big John. Yeah, yeah. No, I like Big John. I have a lot of respect for Big John. Um, he's, um, he's, okay, that, I'm going to excuse that part. But uh, he's, um, you know, he, he's the first, you know what I mean? And he did a lot of things, and we all got to watch him and, and learn from him and all that kind of stuff. And on top of it, he's kind of a funny guy, too. <laughs> he's yeah. very funny. Yeah, he's funny. So do you guys ever have referee clinics with each other and kind of go over new rules and rule changes? Yes. Like different organizations have these kinds Yeah, of yes, we do. Or with the commissions? Now? Yeah, the commissions have them. Uh, we, uh, there's some that are privately done. But, they, yeah, we have referee clinics. So how, is, how are things changed now that there's a commission involved, especially in California, which is only recent? as opposed to before when it was just on the Indian reservations? It depends on which commission. But things have changed. Oh, now that California's involved? How, do, how does that change the sport for you as a referee? Well, I get assigned by the commission, and uh, there's a lot less work for me to do. When you, I go you there, have I have to hustle to get a job or anything? No, not talking about that. I, there's a lot less work for me to do as far as... Uh, like if I do a fight on the Indian reservation, what we needed to do was we were in charge of doing everything that the commission would do. All the paperwork. And as far as, uh, you know, backstage with the fighters, the inspection, um, things like that. Uh, scorekeeping, judges, da 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 Now I just show up and I sit now there. Now you're prima right donnas. I just sit there, yeah. I sit there and, you know, I put on my gloves and do my thing. Oh, now you guys are divas. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And we argue <laughs> like divas, too. I would love to tell you about the arguments that the referee...